Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. Today for lunch we're going to have some uh, broiled grouper. Now, uh, the way I'm going to fix this, you, you really can use any kind of fish you want. Just you need a fillet of some kind. So today for us it's going to be grouper. And what I'm going to do is just brush this with a little um, of the sauce I've mixed up. Got a tablespoon of Dijon mustard, maybe a teaspoon of teriyaka, a good tablespoon of uh, honey, and then I've got a, probably a tablespoon of orange juice. Now we're going to make a sauce out of the juice, so for, for that you need one orange, and I just took about a tablespoon and put in the uh, little uh, really a sauce I'm going to put on the fish before broiling it. Now, here's what I'm going to broil it in. Now this is just uh, two cake cooling racks. I uh, sprayed those with Pam and turned them around so I've got the little squares over uh, my old cake pan that's got some tin foil in it. You do want to spray them because you don't want your fish to stick to the little grates. Now, this pan will be about four inches from my uh, broiler in my oven, and I've got that uh, on high. So, several minutes on one side, just until they start getting brown, flip them over, and we'll put uh, more of this little sauce on the other side. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the sauce on this side right now. So, I'm just painting it on. So I've got enough left to do the other side. All right, so I'm just going to pick these up and position them on the grate. And I've already got that oven on, on high. So again, three, excuse me, four uh, inches from the actual heat element maybe four and a half inches, I don't know, I haven't measured it. But anyway, so we're going to get this in the oven and we'll be right back and we're going to do the sauce while, while this is cooking under the broiler. Okay, we are back and ready to fix the sauce to go over this fish. Now, the first thing you'll need is about a fourth of a cup of just regular tap water, not hot, just regular room temperature. In there, we're going to put one teaspoon of corn starch regular cornstarch. All right, I'm going to mix that up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and turn my burner on on high. And to this uh, cornstarch mixture, I'm going to add one fourth cup of fresh squeezed orange juice. Now this whole recipe really only takes one orange. All right, so I'm going to dump that in. Mix that around and go ahead and dump it right in our pot. And I do have that burner up on high. So to this we're going to add a little bit of Dijon mustard. And this is a kind with Chardonnay in it. So maybe a teaspoon of that. A little maybe teaspoon of the teriyaki. About a tablespoon of honey. And the zest from the orange. I'm just going to put that all in. And you'll want to have your whisk and uh, keep stirring this around and it should uh, start getting a little thicker right away. And what we're going to do is just actually pour the sauce over the fish once it gets recooking. Now I did set my timer because sometimes I get all involved over here and forget I've got the broiler on. So I have to set my timer so I don't make that mistake. I'm going to just keep stirring that and it'll actually come up to a boil and it's going to thicken up a little bit. 
We don't want it real thick, just a little thick. starts boiling. Alright, we're there now, so we're going to go ahead and cut the burner off. Alright, I'm going to take that right off that burner, because we don't want it to get much thicker than that, although maybe a little thicker. Put it back on a minute. Anyway, we'll just let this uh, sit here until the burner gets a little cooler. Let it keep boiling just a little bit. You don't want it to boil too much because you don't want that sauce thick. Yeah. Okay. Now yeah, it's ready. All right. We're going to push this off the burner and check on that fish because I think it's about time to turn it. We'll be right back. Okay. The fish is all done. Got a little brown on top. And this is the uh, vegetable medley uh, casserole from yesterday. This is the one pan I saved out, and the other two got frozen. All right, so here's our sauce. See, it's a little thick, but not much, so I'm just going to dip that over that hot fish. I like a lot of the sauce. Okay, so we are ready to eat. We're also having this with some of the pumpkin bread. I think I fixed that a couple of days ago, and I do have a, um, a video that I've done on how to make this. It's not pumpkin. Did I say pumpkin? Sweet potato bread, okay? All right, so let me give you a closer look. All right, let me get this turned around. There it is. Now, grouper, when you flake it, it the flakes are actually bigger than on most fish. Let me show you what I mean. This is my plate. See how big that flake is right there? Yeah, that's the way it is on, on grouper. But anyway, these were small grouper. So there's the vegetable medley casserole, the um, grouper with an orange sauce and uh, glaze that we use that's got the Dijon mustard, orange, teriyaki, and honey. And by the way, I did put another tablespoon of honey in the sauce because I thought it wasn't sweet enough. Sometimes oranges, you know, aren't as sweet as other oranges. All right, there's that um, sweet potato bread, and there's our iced tea, so we're ready to eat. So we will see y'all next time.